Question 10. The table above shows a firm's total cost and marginal cost for a range of output. What is x equal to? A. 66.7 B. 20 C. 63.75 D. 100 or E. 68 Marginal cost is the additional cost of producing one more unit of output. And in this case, there is a gap between the quantity 75 and the quantity 80. And we cannot calculate the marginal cost between this gap because marginal cost measures the additional cost of producing one more unit of outputs. We can't just find the marginal cost between 80 and 75 by just simply dividing it. No, that cannot be because it's marginal cost is the additional cost of producing one more unit of that good, not five, not five or three or four. However, we can look at the total cost and find the difference between them. Difference in total cost is, or TC, is going to be 5,100 minus 5,000, which is equal to 100. After finding the, the, the difference between the two total costs, we, the, the we divide the TC equals 100 with the difference between the quantity 80 and quantity 75. So difference in the quantity 80 and 75 is going to be 5. So we find the total cost and we find the change in quantity. We find the change in total cost and the change in quantity. Therefore, we can divide it to uh, we can, we divide that and we get 20. 20 is the average total cost between quantity 75 and quantity 80. But with with 20, it's also the marginal cost between quantity 75 and quantity 76. How do we know this? Since how do we know, how do we know this? Now, say for example, now since we found the total cost to be tw the average total cost to be 20, let's plug this into our table. So quantity 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. And now total cost 5,000 to 5,100. Now keep in mind the average total cost goes up by 20 each time. Each time the unit increases by one. Here it's going to be 5,020, 5,040, 5,060, 5,080, 5,100. So the marginal cost for each one is 20. Therefore, the correct answer is letter B. Letter B.